Hello everyone, welcome to this video on algebraic fractions with factorising. Now, in these examples, it doesn't look like straight away that there's the same terms in the top line and the bottom line that you can immediately cancel. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to factorise either the top or the bottom line, the numerator or the denominator, or sometimes both, and then we'll see that there's terms that are the same that we can cancel from the numerator and the denominator to simplify the fraction. All right? So, um, we do that through factorising the expression. So you can see in the bottom here we've got a quadratic. We've got quadratics here and here that we can factorise. And I'll link to a factorising video here very soon, okay? Um, so that you can kind of revise that if you're unsure at all. But I'm going to kind of assume that you know what you're doing with factorising trinomials just now, okay? So let's look at the first example. So we have x minus 2 all over x squared minus 3x plus 2. What we have to do then, can't really do anything with this top line, so we're going to have to do something with the bottom line. We're going to factorise it, alright? So, we're going to be left with then x minus 2 on the top, and then all over, excuse my slightly squinty line. Um, and if we factorise this, remember it's, it's factors of 2 that are going to make negative 3 when we add them together. So that's going to be negative 2 and negative 1. Now a little clue, right? Usually, in examples like this, this is going to be one of your brackets in the bottom line. Okay? So, when you're looking for factors, x minus 2 is going to be one of your brackets because it's going to cancel in the next bit. Okay? And you'll see that happen in a, in a minute, I hope. Okay? So we have x uh, minus 2 in the top, x minus 2, x minus 1 in the bottom. So all we've done is we've rewritten this expression here by factorising it like that, and because we've rewritten it, and we've now got x minus 2 on the bottom, x minus 2 on the top, and remember this cancels and becomes 1. Our final simplification is 1 over x minus 1. And that's our answer. Okay? So what we've done is we've simplified this expression by using factorising to change the expression in the bottom line, or in fact we've not really changed it, but it's the same expression, we've just expressed it differently. So we've factorised the expression here to allow us to use this rule about cancelling the same term from the top and the bottom because it's 1. Uh, so we've cancelled that out, so we're left with 1 in the top line and x take away 1 on the bottom. Okay? So there we have one example where we're factorising just the denominator. In this one, we can see that we've got quadratics in the top and quadratics in the bottom as well. Because we've got x squared, that means it's a quadratic expression. And we've got an x squared term, that means we've got a quadratic expression that's called. I'll put the word there soon. Okay? So, what we're going to have to do, we factorise the top line. Okay? So we factorise the top line, we're going to have... So it's factors of 5 that are going to give us negative 6 when we add them together. So that's going to be negative 1, negative 5. And again, I will link to the factorising tutorial so that you can kind of go over how to factorise trinomials. You can either use magic X or you can kind of just do it in your head. We call that by inspection, alright? So, bottom line, X squared minus 1. If you remember rightly, this is a difference of 2 squares because we've got x squared, we've got a difference, we've got 1, which is a squared term, square number. <coughs> so, that's going to be x minus 1, x plus 1. So remember, x squared take away 1 can be factorised to x minus 1, x plus 1. Like so, because it's a difference of two squares. And again, I'll link to that piece of, um, that tutorial as well. Okay, so that you can go over that one too. Alright, but for just now, just for this tutorial, I'm assuming that you know how to factorise a trinomial like that and a difference of two squares like that, okay? So now looking at this expression that we have now, we can see that we've got the same expression, the same bracket on the top line and the bottom line that we can now cancel. So x minus 1 is cancelled, so we're left then with just x minus 5 over x plus 1, and there's our final answer, okay? So, if we go over that just a little bit again, basics are, 
that right away if we look at these expressions, or these algebraic fractions, we can't see anything that can cancel from the numerator and the denominator. There's nothing that's the same. But if we use our factorising skills to factorise either the numerator or the denominator, uh, like in this case, so in this case it's just the denominator I can factorise, nothing needs to happen to this one. I factorise the denominator and make it look like this, which then allows me to cancel out the x minus 2 terms from top and bottom line. If I look at this one, I need to factorise the top line and I need to factorise the bottom line as well. And once I do that, you can see I've got the same term in the top and the bottom. I can cancel them out and simplify, right? So remember, the object of simplifying an expression is to just basically make it simpler, smaller, okay? So we've gone from this, which looks quite complex, to this, which looks a little bit simpler to deal with. And again, going from this expression here to something that looks a little bit more simple to deal with, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned from it. Please make sure you do the quiz here. If you like this video and you're on YouTube and you're not in my class, subscribe down there. Um, okay, and that's it, so we'll see you guys tomorrow.